Hi, my name is Michael Shea of Shea Educational Group, and this is the uh, famous Ask Mike section of our newsletter in which questions are asked to me by students. We get a lot of emails, and Valerie is with me, my education director, and you're going to hear her voice ask me the question. So, Val, would you go ahead and ask me the question? Yes, Michael, one of our students asked, what is your somatic experience of forgiveness when you feel it in yourself and when you track it in a client's body? Well, <clears throat> so what is my experience of forgiveness in my body and when I track it in a, a client's body? Well, I have to say I don't track forgiveness in a client's body. So that's, that's the uh, answer to half of that question. I wouldn't know how to begin to track forgiveness uh, in somebody else's body, but I can begin to uh, give you a clue on how I track it in myself. So first of all, um, biodynamic cranial sacral therapy as I teach it and as I've written about in my first two volumes and especially in volume three that's coming out in November of 2010 is heart-centered work. And of course, for the last several decades, uh, many of us, including yourself and myself, have heard of heart-centered work. Well, what I mean by heart-centered work is that the practitioner uh, works with his or her perception of her own heart and the actual movement of the heart. So in other words, I will sit uh, when I'm with a client, and actually I do this practice uh, when I'm by myself or in relationship with someone that I'm talking to during the day, and I simply listen to the movement and activity of my heart. Can you, um, as a practitioner, simply sense your heart beating? And if you can sense your heart beating and you're looking at a client or you're having communication with a client, then that builds an empathetic response according to the research literature. And in terms of the empathetic response, you can begin to feel textures and tones of feelings around your heart. And the most prominent feeling that you're liable to feel is a sense of warmth and or a sense of even joy or happiness. And to me, this is the sense of, or would include, a sense of forgiveness. So when I forgive myself, I feel a sense of warmth around my heart. Sometimes I feel a little sadness. But if you look at the sadness and the sensory component of the sadness, it's really a sense of warmth around the heart and a sense of openness and sometimes even a sense of smiling that the opening causes me to smile, uh, not in the sense of a laugh. And so that's the way I track it in myself, and I really wouldn't know how to track it in the client. Thank you.